I was going to resize some big block Chevy rods for a customer, so I figured why not grab some cores out of storage and do a few more sets while the machine is set up. First step is to get the rods cleaned up using the steel braider. Then we move on to grinding a little bit of material off of the mating surface of both the connecting rod and the cap. After this step, we go ahead and get the rod bolts pressed back into the connecting rod, and once the rod bolts are torqued to spec, then the big end bore of the connecting rod is actually a few thousandths of an inch smaller than it would be from the factory. So we move on to roughing this bore out using a rough stone in our connecting rod home. I like to bring them within a half thousandth of finished size with a rough stone before changing over to a finer stone to bring them to the finished size. The factory specs allow for a half thou tolerance, but I like to keep my rods within a tenth of each other, right in the center of the factory tolerance. Dad and I have resized and sold hundreds of rods over the last few years, as many people prefer to support a small Colorado family business over the cheap rods you can get from overseas.